So what is FigJam? It's a collaborative digital whiteboard and has some similar features to Google Jamboard, but it's better. And of course, it's free for educators. So make sure you start by going to figma.com slash education to verify that you're an educator so you can get the full features for free. While FigJam and Google Jamboard share some very similar features, the biggest difference you're gonna notice using FigJam instead of Jamboard is pages. Now Jamboard was limited to 20 frames or pages and FigJam just doesn't seem to have pages at all. Or does it? So in FigJam, we add sections and we use those like pages. So you can go ahead and set up your sections or your pages, but you're not limited to 20. You can have as many as you want. So you can see here that I'm on page two of my FigJam and I had page one. And the way that I usually am gonna structure that is just moving to the right, where I can then make another page. Now I can do this by coming down to the toolbar where it says section and I can just draw my section or my page, and then I can rename it, make this page three, if I want. Well, you can draw as many sections as you want in a fig jam. One of the techniques I'll use is I'll just duplicate a section that I already have. So you see here I have my page two or my second section. I'm gonna click on the section, and you can tell that the section is highlighted because I have the resizing handles are showing up here in the corner. You can also see that there's this blue border around the section, so I know the section is selected. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use Control D for duplicate, or you can Control C, Control V. Control D, you'll notice it's gonna move it to the right. So I have page one and page two, page three, page four. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this sticky note off of this section. So I have a blank section or page but it's the same size as the others, and I'm gonna duplicate it again. And notice it automatically says page five. So long as the name of your section has a number at the end, when you duplicate it, it's gonna increase that number. So it makes it really easy to follow your lesson in FigJam. Now these sections or pages are movable. You'll see as I have this section selected, I am able to drag it around. But good news, you can right click and choose lock, unlock, or use the keyboard shortcut, Control Shift L. So when I do Control Shift L, it is locked and I cannot move the section around. So I'm gonna come over here to section six, Control, control Shift L, and Control Shift L. So each page or each section, I can go ahead and lock it. Do you see it has that lock symbol when I select the page? In fact, not only does it lock the section or the page, it actually locks all of the elements on the page to keep students from dragging around the different pieces that you've prepared for your lesson. Now you can see here that I'm on the Open Middle website, which is one of my favorite resources. And to use Open Middle in FigJam, what I do is I find the image that I wanna use and I right click and I choose Copy Image. And over in FigJam, I'm just gonna go ahead and paste that onto my page. Now that is a little big, so I'm gonna zoom out. I'm gonna resize it so it fits on my page. Here we go. Now, I don't want the students to move the page or this um, open middle template. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on this section and Control Shift L is gonna lock it. And what you're gonna see is that the elements in the section or on the page are also locked. So I can't move the template nor can I move the section. So this will allow students to be able to draw or add elements or you can even add drag them out elements right on there that they can still interact with because things that you do to the section or the page after you've locked it are still movable or able to be interacted with. So that's a really good technique is to lock what you don't need moved around and then still add those interactive elements after you've locked the page. Maybe like me, you use Google Jamboard to have a page per student. And you can do that in FigJam. Actually, it's easier. So notice that I've created this page or section and I've named it Student 1. Then all I have to do is have the section selected and I can Control D, Duplicate. Now I have Student 2, 
Control D duplicate, I have student three, and Control D duplicate, I have student four. You can really quickly and easily create a section or page per student for you all to collaborate within the same Fig Jam really fast. But let's do that even faster. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out. I'm just pinch zooming on my trackpad so I can see those different sections that I've already made. And I can actually lasso all of the sections or pages. Now be careful, make sure you've actually selected the entire section. So see I have all four pages and I'm gonna control D duplicate the four pages. Just slide them to the right here. And now I have five more pages. I'm gonna zoom out some more and I'm gonna select all of those. They're selected and duplicate. Drag them over here. And I can really quickly, by zooming out and duplicating multiple pages at once, quickly get a page per student with the graphic organizer. Now I have a graphic organizer for each of these students, so I want that to be locked down. So I will wanna click on each, Control-Shift-L, lock it. Control shift L lock it and of course you're thinking isn't there a faster way and of course there is I'm going to zoom out so I can see multiple pages or multiple sections at once and I'm going to lasso those sections make sure you get the sections and I can control shift L lock them all at once so you can do multiple pages at a time without having to tediously lock each page individually so now when students join in the fig jam they're going to be able to interact. I'm going to switch this to pen. Pen. And try it out within their section, but they're not going to be able to move the section around and that template is locked down. So there is one last thing I'd like to show you about pages or sections in Fig Jam, and that's that you can hide them, which I think is really powerful. I only want students to look at the section that we're interacting with right now. I want to reveal the others later. So I'm here on page one. I'm going to move over here to page two. And you'll notice that when I've selected the section that it has this winky eye on it. So right now the eye is open. When I click on it, it hides it and it's winky eye closed. And I can lock that so that that page or that section can't be moved or dragged around in. Come to the next page. Just close that little winky eye and I can lock that one as well. So that's something I will do is I'll go through in the extra pages beyond the first page, I'll go ahead and hide and lock those so that I can use them during my lesson, but only when I'm ready. So hopefully this gets you started with Fig Jam and using sections as pages in your collaborative digital whiteboards in your classrooms and with your students.